Good morning, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just gonna run you through how I like to make up my two hook place rigs, clip down place rigs. So what I'll do is I'll give you a rundown on the tackle I've got, how I tie them up, and all the uh, methods I go through to do it. Right, so I'll just run you through the tackle I've got and I'm gonna be using today. So I've got my hook length material there, I've got 30 pound and 50 pound. Then I've got your shock leader for your body, 60 pound. In the bottom drawer of my box, just odds and ends, so I've got some spare springs, clips, crimps, beads, stuff like that. And the next, next drawers, I've got my hooks. So I've got size 2s, 2Os, and 4Os via Vass Aberdeen's, which are my go to hooks. Now I've got my circle hooks, I think they're from Jerry's of Morecambe. Lip grip circle looks all different sizes. And then up the top, I've got my beads, crimps, and clips, springs, beads, pulleys, and more swivels. And I've got some bait stops and the cascade swivels. And then down here, I've got my rig board that I've made up, just that old bit of kitchen worktop. It's got some hooks in either end. And some clips to help me tie my swivels to when I've got them on the, on the bowl of my rigs. So I've got my tools as well. What I'll do now is I'll cut all my rig bodies to length. And then I'll get back to you when I've done that. Right, now I've cut all, all my rig bodies. I've got eight lengths, because I've got eight space on my rig board. All cut at 95 centimetres, 950 mil. And then what I like to do is, I like to tie on all my lead links with the little bait clips on them. So what I'll do is I'll carry on and I'll do all eight of those and then I'll get back to you when I'm on my next step. Right, so that's all my rig bodies tied up now. And I've got, I've tied my lead link on and my bait clip. So the next thing I like to do is cut up my hook lengths to length straight away. So I'm gonna be cutting up 16, 40 centimeter long lengths. What I'll do is I'll cut it to 80 centimetres first of all, because I've got it marked out of my bold. Just fold it in half and slip it in the middle. So the next thing I'll do now is after I've cut all 16 pieces of hook length, I like to tie eight up with a normal swivel and eight up with a cascade swivel and then put a hook on the edge of each one straight away. Right, so that's all my hook links made up now. So I've done 16 all together, eight with a normal swivel and eight with a cascade swivel. The next step what I like to do is I like to get the compression springs and I like to snip them in half. I like to cut them in half, it just saves down on a bit of cost really, it makes them a bit smaller. You don't need them. You don't need them that long. What's that? 50 mil long they are, so 25 mil long is plenty enough I find. So the next step after that would be to start building my rig up. So I'll take my main body trays now and I'll start putting all the components on that I need. So I'll start off with a crimp. An oval bead. A compression spring. Another bead, a hook with the cascade swivel on it, another oval bead, and a final crimp. And then I repeat that process now and put the hook length for the normal swivel length. So that's another crimp. A 
another bead. My last half of the compression spring. Another bead. A hook length, which has a normal swivel on it. Then a final bead. And a final crimp. And then I put my main body swivel on, which is a bit, little bit bigger. Pull that knot down nice and tight. There we go. And then what I'll do is, after I've done each one, I'll assemble it on the rig board now. I'll, I'll hang it up on there, then I'll set the hooks at the end. So I'll get the remaining seven done. Right, so there we go, all the rigs now, all assembled, all on the rig board. Just ready to have all the crimps crimped in place to put tension on the springs. So what I'll start doing is now, I'll start doing that one by one. So now I'm just going to put all the hooks in place, crimp them up. So what, what I'll do is, I'll hook the bottom hook onto the bait clip, slide the crimp up, just so I put a little bit of pressure on the spring with the crimp in pliers, crimp it in place, the bottom crimp in place. The crimp above that on the top, I like to leave a couple of mil of gap crimp that one in place and then what I'll do is I'll bring the hook above it down hook it onto the cascade swivel slide the crimp up with the spring just so it takes a little bit of tension again put a little bit of pressure on the spring crimp that one in place And then the spring above it again, a couple of mil of gap, crimp that one in place. And that's it, that's that one all done. And there we go, that's the way I like to make up my two hook clip down traces. All pretty much identical in length, overall length 95 centimetres long, and each hook length is around 37 centimetres long.